So we could do kind of MCPA saying, dudes, we have this amazing guy from the US. Uh, he's invented this thing, invented the language, invented everything. He started with these instruments that he might give you a demo later. Welcome, please, Peter Blasser. Uh, and then you can do a solo of your, if you like this. I'm posing. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Look at your fucking hat. You're, you're posing all the time. But are you ready to do a solo with this to start I with? I kind of have a headache. Well, okay. No, but I'll do it with the money. I'll make. I'll do what you paid me for. <laughs> no, but uh, okay. No, as you said, yes. Am I ready? So I have to say yes. Bobo is a store at the mall. Sia Lombard is too. They're at this mushroom mall in the sky. And Shibobo sh is the sound of data. Bobo is gesture. Like bo, 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 bo. And sh, 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 sh like a modem. I had been making instruments out of wood for 10 years and making it by hand. And um, for some reason, I hadn't thought of all these things. I hadn't thought of making a digital instrument, and I hadn't thought of having a machine cut the wood. You did a good job sanding this. But here it is. It worked. That's fantastic. I'm probably go Call home me. like this. <laughs> Wait until you program your own. This is his synth you're playing. Yeah, and you can make it up. You now. can make your own synths. That's much better. We chose Poplar because it's easy to machine. And Sycamore for the back because it has that nice grain on it that looks like data. The bar's gonna flex. Mm. There's a piezo that goes there. Mm. And then this is the bar stop, the flex stop. Mm. And it prevents the piezo from breaking. Mm. But it needs to be tuned. You see how there's like a little bit of space mm. beneath it. That's good. That's a good one. Okay. And it's gonna flex. You can see it flexing yeah. and then it stops it. With these synths, you can see I made these, I've made, I don't know, hundreds of these. And they're all made by hand. And like a lot of the bar, those bars are Osage orange wood that I cut down in the woods. Like I would put a lot of work in this. Basically, when my son was born, I'm like, I can't do this anymore. All these. Huge instruments, all that drilling, I mean, it's beautiful. Like, I'm really into the wood at this point. I still am. Like walnut, sassafras, juniper. I use sassafras for synthesizers. I'm really pushing that as a synthesizer wood because of the sass. <laughs> <laughs> the grain of the wood is lengthwise on this bar, so that's using the grain of the wood to make this bar. It's the grain of the wood is leads to a bar idea because it flexes against the grain of that wood and that's what wood is for. I mean, that's what a bow and arrow is for. The bows, this is like a little bow, bow. Well, there's no arrow, the piezo's the arrow. Is it going? Go ahead. Okay, quiet in the room, please. <laughs> The thinner piezos have more capacitance, so they get more of the low end. 
of sound. So I put some wood glue in there. I'll let everyone see about how much I put in. A millimeter. And I spread it around with the tip, too. When I squish this piezo down on it, it'll squish all that glue out really nicely when I just push. Now, learning the touch is the touch, but you know, if you push these too hard, you'll break it, but I don't think you're gonna break it. So, obviously the point is that the bar transfers the flex into the piezo. And so, and the buttons actually, you can solder them from the top because they have these legs sticking out. Okay. Mm. It's pretty easy to get out. Okay. Are they all the same? Are they They're all on the, the mic side. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. They're on the mic side, yeah. And yeah, it's just really important to make sure they're flush once you get it in. Mm. I have taken the notes necessary to complete the production version. The production version of the Coca Quantis device using one final Coco Stuber. I, I had an aesthetic problem with the grid because it was actually causing more flutter. In analog, a lot of nodes. Yeah, a node is where you put it just down, and then once, once it's components down, you kind of meet it around with your yeah, through so traits. Yeah. A lot of so nodes have three components or five components to them. Two or four, but often it's like an odd number or something. So if you have five components coming together, the best way to do that, the most efficient is as a five, as a pentagon. So you start having odd angles just logically. You would have lot odd angles if you did this with a computer. So I said, well, I'm going to just learn how to use strange angles and just go freeform. And it was better for creativity, too, so I could get into it. Looks great. Inches are good. Inches are great. Inches <laughs> with oh inches, God, with a foot, you can divide it by three. And, but the 21st century is not all about the number five. That means the Illuminati are here. That's the metric system. It's <laughs> impressive. If international, we have to use a unit, which should be centimeters. It's true. I mean, the foot is wrapped up in Christianity because there's the twelve apostles. So it is kind of oppressive religiously. <laughs> it's good. This is the patch that's for the flute. Oops, I'm fluting. Yeah, go flute the flute, flute away, flute away. I don't want to get the air breath. On, yes. You know, it's process. Yeah. So, well, there's a lot of knobs already out there. That's the main reason. The knobs are there. You got the knobs. It's about things that can pick up gesture. And a knob gesture, actually a knob gesture, that's not very natural. My good friend, he was a year older than me, and he was giving me titty twisters. And he's tis twitting, twisting my tits. You squish it, you push this down, and then you release it, and it feels you pushing on it. And that's actually just simply just a different gesture from knobs. So it's a complement to knobs. It, it has a more temporary ephemeral gesture that is called an S-curve. It just senses the immediate action on it, but there's no preset way that you leave it. When you're not touching it, it's at its zero state. It only reacts when you touch it. Whereas a knob is more like something you tweak with and you leave it there and we didn't want to do that we didn't need to do that because they're already there this is water you're yeah, squishing yeah, it's, it's no. it's press on the bars right. a little bit push oh squish yeah so this I'm is like exploring a bit, sorry. kinds of granular and stuff yeah, and you can you code that yourself yeah this is a patch that's coded Oh, I'm so looking forward yeah. to do that. The it's name of this opcode is water. It sounds like water. I wanted to do water because I was in the bathtub and I heard the water. And, and I like this idea of these, um, 
these granular things, extending it to other ideas. These well, they're my embedded granulars because you have a limited, you know, granular. You would have thousands of grains in an ambitious granular piece, but this is just four grains. It's eau de grain. Is that right? Odor of grain. Okay. Well, how do you say odor of grain in French? Right. Uh, essence. We essence. would say essence. Essence de grain. <laughs> sounds like this is this kind of granular called fog. This is simple granular. You hear it's a superposition of a bunch of different tones. Can we feed samples to it? Well, there's a mic. So, no, there's no input. But actually, the mic could be no, but as You could probably, if you upload stuff. How much oh, RAM you is it can, okay, there's this, okay, there's two ways to program it. You can program it the way I'm doing it with the standard matrix, yeah. which is this list of opcodes that I wrote. They're like triangle wave, sawtooth wave, filter, fog is granular. This is zither, has it, it has the strings on it. And there's all kinds of different opcodes. And then that matrix itself can be reprogrammed. And it's 128K size it's pretty small but that's for DSP but it could be just reprogrammed with samples so that's not something we're going to cover now no and it's not something I've even done yet <laughs> but it can be done but now we've invented this language called Shlisp where you write it on your computer and send it up here and this will make sounds from it so it has a horn a triangle wave it has a saw it has a filter. Wow, wow. It has a string. Bow. It has a zither. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. It has water. It has smoke. Shh. That's the sh smoke. It has dust. It has a series of gestures that imitate the sounds of the bars. Like there's a swoop. I can't sing that because it's just a gesture. It has a slew, a, rise, uh, a softening. It has the, it has the, the bars are data inside it. It has the corpse, corpus is your flesh. The, the sensing of your flesh is data that can be made into sound. The buttons can be made into sound. There's a microphone. There's the sound, the ventilation system. But it's very quiet. It's just a crackling. What are the sounds were there? <laughs> As I said in Chinese, the word for triangle is three horns. So I just went with it. So we're going to use horn as triangle. Just think of a really triangular rhino horn like that. Horn is three horn. Uh, triangle is three horns, or three corners. So I took it back from Chinese into English as horn. But it also triangle wave. Um, there will be. Uh, ways to write pitches out, like I want it in G, or I want it in A440. There will be ways to do that, and that's like a higher level script. But for now, we're going to do it how I like it, which is just using these raw pitches. And when I hope you're all cool with that, that we're not working in concert pitch. We're working in abstract pitches. Yes, analog devices have a gray area that they operate in where there's you can set the parameters of it with an infinite degree of precision. Um, but I had also been interested beyond uh, these arbitrary sounds that you can get from analog devices are interesting. But uh, I had also been interested in alternative tunings and specific tunings and that's what I targeted as one of the benefits of using digital and it also turns out that this device has isn't being an embedded device it's bare bones so using integers is actually um, serendipitous because now we can create these really just like 
distinct ratios and set pitches and set tunings. Yeah, look, when each um, when a function is followed by two numbers, I'm always just guessing them. I'm not really sure what they're doing, kind of thing. You um, mean after, like, Newman Dino? Or no, the yeah, Newman Dino. I, I think yeah, yeah. it's those ones. Well. Yeah, it's simple, actually. It's simple. The higher this is, the higher the pitch. The higher this is, the lower the pitch. <laughs> is it, it's a fraction of what? <laughs> it's, you mean of what pitch? No, that fraction, 33 by 5. Yes. It's 33 fifth of what? What is the fundamental, if that's in harmony? It's the fundamental of the sampling rate. So the point is, you can have normal. This is, this is the perfect twinkle twinkle. The perfect twinkle. The just twinkle. Now, I won't get into religious thinking about intervals, because I've been trained, like most of you, to the equal comparison. Pythagorean division of the strings starts to get the harmonics interval and gives you the interval, which are quite disturbing for your ear when you play them. Fundamental, first harmonic, I try to put my finger at the right place. That's it. That's the second harmonic, the octave. Then I need to cut it in three. Uh. And then I've got to cut it again. Good job. And then find a bass player. So hopefully I can do that. Can you give me a really low one? So I'm at two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It gets tighter as you go up. Modulating the Dino and keeping the Noom constant, that's what we're talking about. What PA and I, the harmonics, what we were doing, are keeping the Dino constant and moving the Noom around. And that'll get you your happy stuff, your didge music. Keeping the Noom constant, moving the Dino around is gonna get this opposite thing. The sad, the electronic. The sad electronic. Synth by Shibobo has the sh in it, which is the sound of data, and nth refers to the idea of discrete pitches, like the nth pitch, whereas in analog we had this continuum of pitches, synth has the idea of stepped pitches, which I'm getting interested in quantum physics, and I hope to be pursuing that more, the idea of modeling quantum physics, because I've been modeling chaos in analog. And I'd like to keep on, well, I'd like to emulate the modelings, but with this idea of quantized frequencies. That's what digital brings. It's actually a benefit. You, you think you're limited by less resolution, but it's actually really interesting when you have the steps and what happens with that. Basic idea is a horn. Okay. Yeah. Numerator is fixed. Denominator is a is a sa. Mm -hmm. Okay. And that is dumped into a, a wave filter, and the wave filter is controlled with the the corp. Mm -hmm. So the volume of the multiplier of both the saw and the horn is controlled with the the bar, mm -hmm. while the frequency of the filter is controlled with the comp. Mm -hmm. That's it. It's low bar sort of thing here, and then I have some switches to change it. Forces triggered by forces or forces. Forces triggered by sources or forces. You're not used to thinking that way. Yeah, yeah. It's like, you know the process that does what it does? And, yeah, yeah. Uh, if I got this pipe sounding like this, then it'll sound like this. Okay. You do the new, the Dino, and then after that, here's a mall. 
Ah, that would be the sound. Yeah. 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 Wow, okay. This is that, that kind of thinking. I'm not used to that. Okay, 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 great. Yeah. Fog Dust Bar 2020 Smoke Smoke is a legitimate fog expression. So again, what's going to happen when you dust it? You dust it. Each time it's dusted, it takes the 2020, creates this envelope, and it takes two random numbers for the pitch. So it's really primitive, really embedded, but it, I think it's really cool that it's really simple like that. Salsa takes a trigger. So that means it could, let's say it's dust. So that's how we get this idea of chunkiness. It's not a perfect periodic thing. Sauce is just, sauce is just an easy way to do salsa of horn, or salsa of a periodic wave. And also sauce is more precise. I can just say, I want to divide it by 20 right now. and It's just the easy way to go. But if you want to sample and hold, just two totally different things, then you do salsa dust. Well, let's do a, a kind of really prototypical sample and hold. Um, yeah, you're sampling and hold a triangle wave. Mm. So, so that, they'll go do, 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 Left, horn, salsa, dust, smoke, close, close, this tree is my other fundamental for horn. figured out something fun to use the buttons for. Oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> like, I wanted to try to, like, I was looking through the webpage to see if, um, about scrolling through stuff. Like, on some of the other recordings, like, you hold yeah, it up and, down, a, and it cycles through right page a, for that bar. Or things uh, like that, like, where it, okay, okay. it, like it increments or it does, yeah, yeah, as opposed to, like, that. Wee, 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 wee. Wee, 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 wee. We, 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 we. This is this idea that I've recently relegated to the past of an instrument for an arbitrary, well, it's an instrument for a king. I was thinking of George Bush, who arbitrarily invades foreign countries. The instrument is for George Bush, and the buttons are arbitrary pitch buttons. So you can, they scroll, they they scroll the pitch of each bar. And then when I let go of those, they stick. They, they, when I'm holding it down, they go, woo, woo, woo. We can model this on the shin, too, the arbitrary George Bush bar. They go, woo, woo, when you're holding the button down, and then they stop when you let go. Whereas you would just expect a normal bar, if you wanted to tune the bar separately, you would just have like a slide pot to tune it. I said, no. I want buttons because this is for George Bush. Arbitrary pitches. <laughs> and also, it's, it's his level of intelligence as well. Button on, yeah. button off. Well, and also, it's, as far as you can go. it's for like a non musician, too. I, at this time when I designed it, there were a lot of non musicians. I think there still are. Like people that play music, but they're non music. They're, they don't want musical tones, musical pitch relationships. They want arbitrary ones. So I think that's still a. A strong trend. I think now you've seen the instrument is rich. We've had like feedback, noise, distortion, cheap ambient, uh, 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 rattly, <laughs> pop songs. We've got everything from the same minuscule interface, which means that the genius of Peter Blesser behind that is fantastic. I think he deserves a clap for that. And thank you for everyone, for the new people coming here too, and thank you for everyone that was in the workshop for the past few days. I'm just going to say right now, uh, me and Rod and Angie are going to go back after this concert. And I'm going to lie low because I have an early plane flight tomorrow, but it was great. My first time in England, it's so great here. I love it cold, I like it gray. And these people, I love meeting every single one of you, including PA. So thank you. Sweet. Sjat, sjat, barbar, sjat, sjat,